Hello everyone. Good Friday. Friday, November the 6th, 2020, as we talk just for a few moments about the market today, uh, just for a few moments about the market today and how, uh, number one, the market started out good today and then ended up not, 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 too, not too well. It started out very well and then it, it kind of did a turn on us. So I'm not going to stay on long uh, tonight. I just want to kind of um, give you all an update of, of um, you know, basically what happened and um, what can we do about um, next week's market, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let me start with there. As a matter of fact, on next week, on next week, the market will. The market will be much better than it was today on Monday. It's projected. Let me put it like that. It's projected to be uh, very much better than it was today. It's going to. It looks like it took a turn for the better after market. It took a turn for the better after market. So uh, please be mindful of that. Um, so that doesn't mean it's going to stay that way all day. That does not mean it's going to stay that way all day Monday. So we've got to be mindful of that. I think the market is open on Monday. When, when is the holiday? The holiday, uh, is Monday a holiday? I'm not sure if the market's open because I didn't even check. Uh, I guess I'll check now. Um, so while I'm checking that to see if the market is open, um, uh, no, the uh, it, okay. It's next Wednesday. It's next Wednesday, November the 11th. The market will not be open because that is Veterans Day on next Wednesday. All right. Let me get back to the market. Let's talk about some things. Just a couple things uh, before I get out, off the line. I'm not planning on being on too long uh, tonight uh, for that very reason. Hey, Deborah. Um, um, we uh, uh, see that it was uh, it's doing it was doing kind of good early this morning. I guess that's before before ten o'clock, and then it dipped. It took a drastic dip. It took a drastic dip at at it looks about like um, it took a dip at nine fifty five, as a matter of fact, and then it basically uh, went up, but never really. It went up from that, so the highest the market was today was at 1 o'clock p.m., but it still was in the red. The market was up at 1 o'clock p.m. today, but it was still in the red. Uh, so uh, for those of you who had calls, if I'm looking at my NIO, I know some people had a NIO call. I don't know what NIO did today. NIO lost money today. They lost 72 cents today because they closed at $41.63. They closed at $41.63 today. So now you actually lost money today. All right? All right. And so then the other thing is um, um, just about everything else was down. Just about everything else was down. Uh, when I say everything, I mean like Apple was down, Facebook was down, Tesla was down. Uh, Amazon was down, uh, Google was down. Now Chipotle, Chipotle gained money today, not a whole lot, but they uh, gained fifteen dollars and eighty-five cents today. So, if in case they had a, um, uh, anyone had a call on Chipotle, you should have done very well today because of the fact that Chipotle did very well today. My intention is to get into some other call. Excuse me, some other calls on next week, as we know, as we know, y'all will have to excuse me. All right, um, um, as we know, I have a call for, for Apple to close on June, uh, December the 18th, December the 18th, uh, for $117.50, and of course, Apple calls today at $118.51. So even though Apple uh, uh, lost money today, 
they lost uh, uh, not a whole lot of money. They lost about 13 cents today. So I, in spite of the fact that they lost money today, I still made money on Apple today. Uh, not a whole lot, but I made money today on Apple because I have a call for $117.50 and Apple closed at $118.53. Again, Facebook and Nio and Tesla, they all lost money. Amazon, Google, Verizon. Verizon did gain money today. Verizon gained uh, $0.38 cents today. They closed at $58.55 uh, during the market today and then another $0.02 cents after market. So that was, that, that was very good for Verizon. And then, of course, uh, uh, GoPro and Workhorse, Moderna, they all gained money. To, I'm sorry, Workhorse lost money today, Moderna. Uh, and then we have United, Steel, United States Steel gained 24 cents today. That is one, the code is X. That is one that I have that I barely lose money off of that one. You will just about always make money on that one because of the fact that it's slow growth. It is growth, but it's slow growth. So if I were you, I would get, get that one. H-E-A-R, hair. H-E-A-R is another one that is slow growth. Now, they, they didn't go up or down today. They went straight across today. So I think that they gained like three cents today during the market. But then after market, they gained 43 cents. So that's Turtle Beach here. Always a good one to have. Always a good investment, Turtle Beach here. Twitter lost money today. Zoom kind of went sideways today. Zoom uh, closed today. Zoom closed today at $499.80. They gained $3.38 today, but lost 31 cents after market, which isn't too bad at all. That would have been a good one to uh, have a play in, uh, a call in, that is. Um, then we have Plug and AMD. Uh, NOK, MGM, no one is traveling, no one is vacationing for the most part, so MGM is kind of moving sideways. Uh, INO, Disney, again, no one is traveling, uh, no one is traveling. And then, of course, the tech stock, none of the tech stocks did pretty good today or did real well today, like Microsoft and, as we said earlier, Amazon, Google, none of those did good today. Berkshire B, I've been hearing some good news about Berkshire B. For those of you, when you get a chance, look into Berkshire A just to see just to see how much how much it is per share, and you will be amazed. The, uh, the ticker is BRK.A, BRK.A. That's Berkshire A. They did gain money today. They closed at three hundred and thirteen thousand eight hundred and eighty-five dollars because they gained one thousand nine hundred and fifty-one dollars today, one day in itself. So that would have been a good one to have one share, or if not share, of course, don't forget, you can purchase in dollar amounts because you don't have to purchase the whole $313,885 worth of Berkshire A. What you can do is buy $300 worth, buy $100 worth or $50 worth. Certainly, I have some of those as well. And then, of course, its sister stock is called Berkshire B. Berkshire B is much uh, cheaper than that much, much cheaper than Berkshire A, but guess what? It is on its way to where A is. If I were you, I would grab some of Berkshire A. Deborah, I can't believe that you're not on the line dancing with everybody else tonight on the line at the, at the convention. Snap did very well today. Snap closed today at $45.76. They went up by $3.83 today during the market, another 38 cents after market. So Snap did very well today. All of the airlines, all of the airlines, every last one of the airlines uh, are doing horrible. And I don't want to say the word horrible because they're, they're up and down. From day to day, they're up and down. One day, they're up. The next day, they're down. One day, they're up. The next day, they're down. All of them were down today. American Airlines, Delta Airlines, Alaska Airlines, all of those were down today because why? People are not flying for the most part. They will almost pay you to fly because people are not flying. Of course, uh, all of the cruise liners, uh, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, uh, uh, Carnival, they're all doing the same thing as the airline. They're moving up and down because of the fact that no one is traveling. Now, I was told uh, that on December the 6th, the cruise liners will start cruising again on December the 6th with some restrictions. 
So then, of course, we should be mindful of that. Buy low and hold so when the cruise liners start to cruise again, you will be in it already. Let's go to Walmart. Let's go to Walmart. Walmart closed at $146 even today. They gained $2.30 per share today during the market and then another $0.23 cents after market. So that won't be a bad one to have if you invest in, the, in, in Walmart. And then, of course, Bank of America did well today. And then, of course... Um, we mentioned I have some of Berkshire A. I have some Berkshire A. Then there's Shopify. Don't forget, there's a difference between Shopify and Spotify. Shopify, the ticker is SHOP. They closed today at $1,045 even. You all should have jumped in on that when you had an opportunity when it was very low. Now it's $1,045 even. So Shopify is a good one to have. And then, of course, uh, let's go to one more. Um, uh, Lulu, L-U-L-U -L -U is the ticker, did close today at $343.80. They lost money today during the market. And then, of course, we know that the market is not doing very well because of what's going on around the world. What? Unemployment came out today, even though it's not, it wasn't too bad, as a matter of fact. Unemployment wasn't too bad. But the fact of the matter is, it, many people are still applying for unemployment. Therefore, that affects the market because people are doing what we call a sell-off. They are selling their stocks to live or to make ends meet. So that makes the, that affects the market. Number two, the economy. What's going on with the economy? We know the economy is not bad, but it's not all of that good as well. So the economy affects the market. And then last but not least, COVID-19. COVID-19. We can't use the election anymore. Now we can only use what's going on after the election. So when, as soon as we figure out who's going to be the next president of the United States of America, then the market should be turning around in a great way. The market should be turning around in a great way. Um, uh, my intention was on to, only to stay on about 15 minutes. It's right at 12 minutes. I don't see that anyone have any questions. Again, for those of you who are watching this, please, we're moving over to, and I've transferred all of it. I'm deleting these off of this, and I have went over to YouTube. I went over to YouTube, so please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once you subscribe to the YouTube channel, please click subscribe and that bell so that you can get the up-to-date moments, on-the-moments notification when I find out something about the market, I want to make sure that you know as well. So please, when you do that, please uh, tell somebody else as well that we've moved from here. We're going over there. And then, of course, once we go over there, all of the, uh, all of the recordings will be over there so that the individuals, those followers around the world can follow me wherever you are. And you can look at, uh, at the recording at any time, whether you're in Alaska, Hawaii, Japan, Germany, Korea, wherever you may be, you will get those up-to-date moments instruction, the free, uh, 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 notification that is. So don't forget when the market is open for us, for the most part, and Hawaii and other places, it's closed for them. But just in case they want to get up and catch something while it's open for us, I want to let them know. So that's the best way to do that by the by the uh, YouTube. The YouTube channel, my name, Tim McKenzie, Tim, T-I-M, McKenzie, M-C-K-I-N-Z-I-E. Please go and subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave me a message saying, hey, I'm here and I can tell you welcome, and then we can get to know each other. I'm see there's a Joshua Jefferson that has joined us on the line. I don't think I know him, but welcome, Joshua. Welcome, 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 welcome. I hope that you are learning something. We did calls and puts last night. That's why I didn't talk about them uh, too much on tonight, because we talked about calls and puts tonight. Tonight it was just stocks. We'll talk about calls and puts again on next Tuesday night. And I think next Tuesday night, because I'm going out of town on next Tuesday night. All right. All right. So and then, of course, I will be out of town on next week. If I have an opportunity to to update you all, certainly I will do that. If I don't have that opportunity, I won't do that. Deborah said, can I buy some stocks in Pecan? Deborah, I think my sister's coming up this weekend. We'll make sure that you have that. And I don't know why you're not online. You're supposed to be online watching with everybody else in the Sabbath Episcopal District. So that's all that I have. Again, thank you all so much for joining us here on Stocks Talk Live with Tim. I'm Tim McKenzie. We will see you again on Monday night, Tuesday night, not Wednesday night, not Thursday night, not Friday night because I'm out of town, of course. And so 
Enjoy your weekend. Have a safe weekend. Make sure you sanitize. Wait till you use your, uh, wear your mask and wash your hands. Wash your hands. Take care. God bless. Peace.